Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of Deuteronomy chapters 25 and 26. Deuteronomy chapter 25, Fairness and Compassion In this chapter, Moses continues to provide the Israelites with God's laws for their community life. The guidelines given by the Lord emphasize fairness, justice, and compassion in their dealings with one another. One of the laws states that if two men have a disagreement, and come before the judges, the judges must carefully consider the case. If one man is found guilty, he will receive a fair punishment. However, the judges are instructed not to show favoritism or be unjust in their decisions. This law ensures that justice prevails among the people. Another law concerns a practice known as Levirate marriage. If a man dies without having children, his brother is to marry the widow to raise up children in his brother's name. This practice ensures the widow's well-being and keeps the deceased brother's lineage intact. The chapter also addresses fairness in commerce. It forbids using unequal weights and measures for buying and selling goods, as it is dishonest and unjust. God wants his people to be honest in all their dealings with one another. Furthermore, the chapter emphasizes compassion for animals. If a man sees his enemy's donkey struggling under a heavy load, he is to help and relieve the burden, even if the donkey belongs to someone he dislikes. This law teaches the importance of compassion and kindness towards all living creatures. The chapter concludes with a reminder to remember and avenge the evil acts of the nation of Amalek against the Israelites when they left Egypt. God does not want them to forget the past, but to be vigilant in their future. As we read Deuteronomy chapter 25, we learn that God values fairness, compassion, and justice in all aspects of life. He wants his people to treat one another with love and respect, showing kindness even to those they may consider their enemies. These laws serve as a reminder to live in harmony and righteousness, following the principles set by God for their well-being and prosperity. Deuteronomy chapter 26, Giving Thanks and Remembering In this chapter, Moses shares with the Israelites God's instructions on how they should express gratitude and remember his faithfulness. It teaches them the importance of acknowledging God's blessings and remembering their history as chosen people. God instructs the Israelites that when they enter the land he has promised them, they are to take some of the first fruits of their harvest and present them as an offering to the Lord. They are to bring the offering before the priest and declare their gratitude, acknowledging that God brought them out of Egypt and into the promised land. This act of giving the first fruits is a way of recognizing that all they have comes from God, and it fosters a spirit of thankfulness. The chapter also instructs the people to bring a tithe, a portion of their produce and herds, to the place of worship. This tithe is to be shared with the Levites, the priests, and the needy, ensuring that everyone in the community is cared for and provided for. Moreover, the Israelites are to recount their history from the time their ancestors were oppressed in Egypt to their deliverance by God's mighty hand. This serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness and how he fulfilled his promises to them. God commands the people to commit themselves to obeying his commandments and walking in his ways. By doing so, they will become his treasured possession, a holy people set apart for him. As we read Deuteronomy chapter 26, we are reminded of the importance of giving thanks and remembering God's faithfulness in our lives. Like the Israelites, we should be grateful for all that God has provided for us and be willing to share our blessings with others. By acknowledging God's goodness and following his ways, we can experience his continued guidance and blessings in our journey of faith. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue the next chapter of Deuteronomy in the next video.